Hey, what's up guys? It is uh, Thursday morning here at the Old Barn Homestead. This week's kind of slipping away. And I um, haven't had a really a lot of billable jobs to do. I'm waiting on uh, EcoMouse Design to send me back uh, a part that I sent him so I can get going on that, uh, that project for a local company. I can't really say what it is much because uh, they, uh, you know, I have an NDA with them, but anyway I got a chance to make some money off of that and I need to get that going but I can't right now so I've been working on the paint booth here uh, the last couple days um, and the uh, the sheeting is all done it's uh, time to do the trim on it now and uh, this back section back here uh, got it thrown up here yesterday and a spot for the AC there so um, Anyway, and I've uh, got the wiring <clears throat> pretty much done on it. This is uh, what I ended up with for turning on and off the paint booth. This is just a basic three-phase contactor switch thing. One of those uh, rare opportunities that it, you wire up something three phase and it actually spin in the right direction the first time. It seems like everything I've ever wired that's for, that's three phase when I first took it up, it uh, it's running the wrong way. Uh, you, you got a 50 50 chance of getting it right, or I guess let's see, you got three wires, so what is it? Uh, I don't know if that'd be 50 50 or yeah, 50 50. And I seem to always lose on that, but I got it right at that time. Uh, I've got trim pieces that go there and down the sides. They basically the same stuff that's on the on the shop here. And uh, the the colors don't match. Um, I bought these from two different places, and I uh, told them it was Mueller, you know, that did this. And Mueller is kind of expensive, so I went with another company, and um, that's also one of the local steel suppliers that I get a lot of stuff from. So. I would, you know, just give them the business on this one, but it doesn't match, but that's all right, you know, um, since it didn't match, I really should have just went with a, you know, a completely different color to make it not match on purpose, like white with something, you know, I could have, I don't know. The reason I went with this tan to start with was I, I was going to do gray, you know, A-Bomb 79, you know, his shop's gray. I really like that color gray with the white trim. But I thought that, you know, with it being dusty and and country and all that, you know, that this color here would show the least amount of dust and dirt and, you know, any splash up or whatever that occurs. It sort of, you know, blends in a little bit better um, being sort of a tone, you know, earth tone color. So anyway, um, on the, sh the LED shop lights that I was going to use, I, I bought 10 of them quite a while ago and I was gonna put 10 of them in here and uh, you see I got all this wiring done I'm actually gonna redo that I, I got to thinking about it I uh, talked about it a while back here are those lights so I'm gonna try to sell those if I can and um, four fields furniture sent me a link to some enclosures that are four foot LED enclosures that are vapor tight and sealed and I think he used some of them they're $36 a piece um, and they use I don't know what you call that I still got to tighten up that box up there what you call that kind of connection right there that seals in tight and it's got gaskets on it and all that anyway it looks like it joins together using that kind of stuff um, and so yeah so I need to uh, I need to swap those out. Uh, so $36 for the enclosure, and then I got to buy the two bulbs. So uh, going to be over $50 a piece. And I'm going to start because I just, I don't have any money. You know, I'm my truck's got to have tires on it, um, and it really needs a wheel on it. I got a wheel 
on the back that I've been dealing with for probably three years that can't be balanced because I guess I hit a pothole or something with it and I moved it to the back because it vibrates at between like 35 miles an hour and 70 is where it vibrates of course you know if you go above 70 it smooths out but I try not to drive above 70 too much especially around here but anyway the the tires are pretty much bald on it and I don't know if you've ever bought any tires for a truck like this but they're not cheap about 800 bucks and um I'm just running on borrowed time on them right now they you know I mean they they've got just maybe a 16th in the center right there left so hopefully they'll go another couple of weeks I've been keeping it parked and just trying to combine my trips and not go anywhere just stay stay put here but you just you got to go to get bolts and paint and supplies and you know somebody's always wanting something you don't have so um, anyway, happy to have the paint booth going and I got to, you know, figure out what to do with those lights. I'm just going to buy a six to start with. Um, and I, but I've got to get this going because uh, painting inside the paint booth is just waking up with a headache every day. <coughs> Excuse me. Every day from having those fumes permeate into the shop because, you know, it's spray foam insulated and, um, the living area is spray foam insulated so it's it's a good thing in most ways but it's a bad thing in that those fumes just sort of they don't want to go out and um i've got to get out here where i can start painting out here i've, I've had a non-stop headache for days and days and days it'll sort of get better and then i'll paint something and it's yeah it's bad again so uh hopefully i haven't done too much damage to my health painting in there but um anyway i'll stop rambling now and complaining and whining and you know whatever we're getting really close to having this bad boy up and going so that's a good thing all right guys i'm gonna uh let you go i gotta get out here and uh get going there so the trim and so uh hopefully here in another week or two i'll be painting in there i still got quite a bit of work uh on i still gotta yeah i said i was gonna <laughs> anyway I ramble too much on this uh, on these videos nobody really complains about it on this channel because I've said over and over again that's what this channel is about but the other channel when I do it man people really bitch about that but I get it I understand you want to see me work and less talking more working I have to build a, uh, a structure here to go in front of that a filter bank structure um, and I got some filters right there that are going to be the uh, exhaust filters that, you know, catch all the overspray. So uh, I'm not exactly sure how big that needs to be or I know the filters flow a lot better. They're, they're, they flow a lot more than the ones that go here. I don't think you need as much filter, but obviously you want as, as much as you can. So um, anyway, uh, it's going to be, uh, you know, probably just like an angle iron frame with some uh mesh the uh gosh expanded metal because uh those filters are like a really thin you know they're not structured and and they don't support themselves basically so um all right guys that's it for real for real this time i'll see you